Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'm here today with a tote bag review. I'm super excited. I cannot wait to show you what is on the front of this tote bag. A little bit of housekeeping first. Um, this is a new company and the company name is Whiskva. It's W-I-S-K-F. Okay. I don't know how to say that, but it's super fun saying Whiskva right? So um, they reached out to me via email and I did not respond to the email because scams, you know. And then um, I looked it up on YouTube and I saw some other people reviewing these tote bags and I said, okay, you know what? Let me do some research. Um, they reached out to me and they asked, hey, you know, we're, we're a new company. We're trying to get our name out there. Can we do a collab with your followers? Um, We'll send you a couple of free items. We want you to honestly review it. No matter if you love it or hate it, please, you know, let us know. We're just trying to better ourselves and get our name out there. And I said, okay. Um, I still didn't answer. I, you know, like I said, I, I did some more research. Um, I saw them on YouTube, you know, different crafters. Um, there were some paper crafters. There were some quilters. And then there was like haul video, people who do haul videos. They did them. Um, I double checked those accounts to make sure they were real accounts and not, you know, those spam bot accounts or the fake ones. They were all real. Um, so it made me feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, again, I did all my dual diligence. I looked up, you know, consumer reports and Google scams and all that kind of stuff. Um, there was nothing negative about this company. Um, so I said, okay, you know what? Let me get my... Um, my super secure, um, you know, like my VPN and stuff on so that way I can look at this website and, um, you know, not crash my computer. So I did that and it is a legit website. It is a legit company. I am very confident to say that this is a legit company um, for my comfort level. Obviously, I got the bags, so they did what they said. Um, it is headquartered in London. However, it is a Chinese backed um, store. So, you know, with that, we got to be careful, um, especially right now, it is the season for scammers. So we have to be very careful. But I did my due diligence. I researched it. Um, they did not ask me for money or anything. Um, you just had to put your, your, your name and address, obviously, or it's, they're not going to be able to send it to you. Um, so and your phone number, because you have to have your phone numbers for customs. And so that was it. Um, I was fine with that. So I went ahead and did it. I got my bags and I'm not going to lie. I absolutely love, 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 love what I picked out. They let me pick out two things. Um, so I picked out two different things. And then I also ordered a custom bag. Now my custom bag is not here yet. And I knew it wasn't going to be here at the same time because custom bags obviously are going to take a lot longer. I got my logo on it. It was very easy to upload my logo. Um, and it was so reasonably priced. Um, you know, it, it was great. So um, when I get that, I'll definitely share that with you. And they also gave me a discount code for you guys. Um, if you want to buy these tote bags, um, there's so many different designs. You can design your own stuff like that. And they're priced, um, I think the most expensive was like $13, I want to say. Um, everything was under 20 I do know that. And they have a lot of different stuff, but wait until you see. <laughs> when I saw this bag, I was like, okay, we're going to do this collaboration. Because if I can get this bag, um, that's going to be amazing. And they came through. Wait till you see this bag, guys. I cannot. <laughs> you know this was the bag I had to go with. So like I said, they have so many different designs. They have cheeky bags like this. They have, um, you know, like animals and birds and Christmas and gnomes and um, fancy designs and all kind of stuff. They have this tote bag, another tote bag style I'm going to show you. They have makeup bags, um, pretty much any type of bag you can think of. They have it. And like I said, you can order custom. So I ordered this one with my logo on it. And like I said, I knew it wasn't going to come at the same time these were going to come. Uh, because it says allow extra time for the customization, which is not a big deal. Um, shipping was about 17 days. 
And I don't know just because these were the free bags um, that they're giving me to review. Um, I can't remember if I paid shipping. I did pay shipping on my other one, but it was less than like five bucks, so it was fun. Um, yeah. Look at how great this is. Now, I didn't realize because, of course, I didn't read the description. I just clicked it and said, oh, my God, Golden Girls put it in my cart. Let's not even read it. I thought it was smaller. This is 16 by 15 and a half. It is a very large bag. Like, here's my 12 by 12 mat. And it completely covers my mat. Like you can't even... Excuse my messy desk. You can't even see it covers completely covers the mat. So it, it is quite large. Um, sorry, I have things on the side that have my address on it. I don't want... I don't need y'all showing up for Christmas dinner, okay? <laughs> Unless you ask first. Don't show up unannounced. Um, so on the website, the bag looked like it was going to be like a, a thinner material. But it is very, very thick. It is a true canvas bag. Um, the sewing is great. You know how like sometimes we get these little... Um, bags from uh you know you know where we like to shop where everything's you know heavily discounted but it's hit or miss with the quality this is gorgeous quality in my opinion um i'm now i'm not a seamstress i don't sew and so i don't know those of you who sew you can tell me but it is thick it feels nice it's super soft just your standard straps you know same ones you buy at any boxed fabric store or whatever um they're nice and long so you don't have to worry about like it getting stuck in your you know your arm fat folds <laughs> i don't know any other way to describe it so um it is very very high quality in my opinion and i'm super excited i cannot wait to get my logo bag when i get my logo bag i will show you guys that as well of course this is going to be my new favorite bag because i'm a girl's so um, let me show you the next style bag that I got. Okay, so here is the next bag that I got. This is a huge bag too. Um, already just from opening it, I am not enjoying this. That's a little jank, a little sloppy, but you know, I can always cut that off and redo it. So I'm not enjoying that, but I don't think that this is, you know, I think this was just an add-on to try to make it look pretty, but um let's do better let's get some sharper scissors okay do better um my second quibble is on this one it did have a lot of string that i had to cut off and it was down here so again i'm not a seamstress so this could just be the end of the sewing thing um i, I don't know so but i don't see anything else wrong with that but look at the beautiful front of this bag it's so gorgeous it is a super thick bag okay so see again i don't know hmm the sewing is all the way through so i think these might just be ends i don't know i'm a little bit less excited about this bag if you can hear it um I don't know. I don't need a bag unraveling on me. Okay. So, I, there's a lot of extra string right here. Okay, so it's a little sloppy on this bag. The other bag is amazing. This one so far, um, I'm impressed with the front of it. Um, the thickness is amazing. The stitching on the actual canvas is gorgeous. I'm just a little concerned about that. The sides. And again, I, I'm not a seamstress. I, I don't sew. So I don't know if that's just that little extra string on the side that you got to, uh, you know, they just didn't clip off. But, I don't know, it looks pretty sturdy. Ah, see, here's another string. I don't... I don't know. All right, this is annoying. 
I shouldn't have to cut strings, but for the price I, pay, you know, for the price, well, the price I paid, which was free, I'm fine with it, but the price of the bag, um, that is annoying, but it's not a deal breaker if the bag doesn't unravel. All right, without the discounts, this bag is $12.99. So thickness wise, um, so, bruh. Size wise, this is worth $13. Um, the bottom is, oh, that's really nice. The inside and the bottom is like uh, waterproof. Okay, but the one thing that annoyed me when I opened it up that made me say, bruh, strings everywhere. Strings. Look at this. Hold on. Let me. Strings just everywhere. Well, these ones aren't connected. All right. These are just production strings, I guess. Not. Nah, we got a string here, too. Strings. Okay. So, I guess for $13, you're going to get a lot of strings. But, okay. All right. They weren't attached, so I'm okay with that. That one's a little... Uh, no, that's not attached. Okay. All right. Fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, the zipper... Has a little pocket in here. All right. It looks like... Another string. Okay. That one. Okay. So yeah, it is just, it is a little bit sloppy, guys. Um, this one definitely is just the end of the sewing. Um, I can clearly see that one because it's you know light. So okay. But again, I, you know, I know I'm complaining a lot about these strings because it is annoying me, but I feel like that's not going to compromise the structure or the integrity of the bag. Um, I don't think so. So, okay, sorry. So, um, like I said, I don't think it's going to um, compromise the bag at all, but it just was annoying to have to sit there and cut all of those strings off um that's just unfortunate but for $13 you know plus a discount um that's not too bad it is very thick it's very wide this one measures let me see where's a ruler hmm, lost my rulers um this is 16 by 12 um by it's pretty thick you can stand it up pretty well by let's see here just under six so like I said it is very thick quality um, I really like this band it is super thick it is double layered you know so it, it looks like it's gonna be just fine um, I'm gonna go to the grocery store with it and see how well it does um, before I put this video out because I don't want to lie <laughs> on the videos um the other bag my my golden girls bag i definitely give this a 10 out of 10 um for right now it gets a 10 out of 10 for quality um i didn't have to cut any strings and the other bag i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 i took three stars off because a i was aggravated with the strings b this is not okay and unprofessional um so that got three stars taken off. So I'm going to go to the grocery store and I'm going to see how these um, stand up. I'm going to put a lot of heavy stuff in there, um, all that kind of stuff in there. So um, let me see. This bag was $12.99 and the other tote bags are $8.99. And then there's cosmetic bags, which are $5. And there's some aprons on here that are um, like $7. So, and they're waterproof. So there's a lot of stuff, a lot of designs. 
So let me go to the grocery store. Let me test this out in the real world and see how they do. Um, and then we'll finish the video. Okay, so I went to the grocery store and um, I have to say that the bag is amazing. Um, let me let me tell you this first. Um, my mom used to sew and she said these are just the finishing strings. I showed her where they, you know, where I had to cut them off. I showed her the video and she said, no, it's fine. Um, we also um, reached out to her friend who is a seamstress and she makes bags. She used to make bags. She doesn't do it anymore. And she confirmed that, yes, these are just the finishing strings. And so just a little quality control was a little meh, you know, and then with this business, mm. So that was the only negative I have to say um, about the bags. I just went ahead and cut it on the diagonal because I did like the ribbon on the side. I thought it was super cute. And so I just cut it on the diagonal and it was fine. Um, we, well, we, I put three 12 packs of soda vertically in the bag and I'll put pictures because um, obviously I didn't do a video on the store, but um, I did put three 12 packs of soda in the bag. It fit perfectly vertically. And I made my poor nephew, he's the MVP, um, carry that bag around the entire store. Um, so we were in the store for about an hour and the bag did not waver. It didn't pucker. It, it was perfect. It stayed, um, you know, it was able to, to hold the weight. So that was about roughly, let me look up how, how much those cans weigh. Okay, according to the internet, those things weigh about nine pounds. And so... <laughs> Now, if it really bad, my poor nephew carried it around. Um, but, uh, so what is that, 27? So 20, it held 27 pounds for over an hour, and it was perfect. Um, the other thing I didn't realize is that the whole, entire inside is waterproof, not just the black part, which I originally thought, but the entire bag is waterproof. And how I found that out is because I had my coffee, and I was asking a question or whatever I don't know what we were doing and I spilled my coffee inside <laughs> so I haven't even had it a whole day and I already spilled the coffee inside of it and um you know I was able to wipe it out quickly so I wish I would have got that on video but I didn't but um you know I was in the store and so that worked out great um yeah so the bag actually is amazing I'm a little annoyed over the strings but that's okay so I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 um, I still took the one star off because of this. The quality control, it needs to be a little bit better, but for $13, that's not a huge deal to me, um, especially seeing how the bag performed the way it did. And I also, <laughs> you, guys, you guys know how I am. I also, I was gonna carry the bag out from the car to the garage. I dropped it in the grass and it, the bag was just fine. Sodas were just fine. Um, he carried it into the garage and um, it was fine. So <laughs> the bag is amazing. This one's amazing. Um, the only thing I had in here and I just took it out, I just had some um, Christmas gifts and then I was like, oh yeah, wait, I need to have something to finish the video. So I took the Christmas gifts out, but um, this I probably wouldn't put it would fit two vertical 12 packs of soda, but I probably wouldn't put it in this. Um, I would say let me try, but I really don't want to ruin this bag because this is my favorite. But just for y'all, I'm going to try. Hold on. Okay, so I put two packs of, two 12 packs of soda in this bag. So that's roughly 18 pounds, and it was just fine. Um, I only carried it around a little bit. Um, until it started to kind of wave a little bit. So I don't think you can put that much weight in these tote bags, but for about 20 minutes or so, it was fine. So like if you have a whole bunch of stuff you're bringing into work for like potluck day or something like that, this bag would be just fine, you know, just from the car to the door or your desk or whatever. Um, so, I, but I didn't want to stress it too much um, with that amount of weight in here, but nothing, all the seams are still fine. The bottom is still great. And like I said, it had oh, the, it had the 19 pounds in there. Um, so yeah, so I think they are gonna be super quality. I'm super excited to get my logo bag. Um, I'm su <laughs> I'm super excited uh, for you guys to order these bags if you want. Um, I don't. Um, I just lost my train of thought. 
I don't know. But there is going to be a discount code because at the end of the day, I do really like these bags. Again, I give this one a 10 out of 10. The other one, a 9 out of 10. Um, just for quality control. And if I didn't have to cut the things, I would have gave it a 10 out of 10. So that is my true, honest opinion. I will be buying some more bags from them um, using my discount code at the end. It's just McGill05, O-F-F. So McGill05 off. Um, you get 5% off. Um, and I'm going to get, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go buy two more of these. So I have them, you know, um, that's what I'm going to buy. And my mom wants, um, another one of the other bags. So I'm going to get her that too. Um, so definitely I, I, I think this company is legit. Um, I do like the product, honestly. Um, I'm hoping that the next bag that I buy, I'm going to buy, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy another one of the, the initial bags and see if that's a little better than this. Um, you know, we'll see. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.